We get right to tournament action with the first of two semifinal matchups. Let's meet the fighters. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the black corner. He's coming off a third round knockout in his Glory Rivals series. His record stands at 21 wins, two losses, one draw. 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet, five inches tall, 1.98 meters, and he weighed in at 272.7 pounds, 123.7 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Nigeria, he is ranked number eight in the Glory World Rankings. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tariq Cookie Osaro. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, set to make his 17th glory start and no stranger to tournament action in his career. His record, 33 wins, 13 losses, one draw, and eight of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, four inches tall, 1.95 meters, he weighed in at 267.2 pounds, 121.2 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Utrecht, the Netherlands, and ranked number seven in the Glory World Rankings, here is Jafar Wilner. The third man inside the glory ropes, your referee, Niels Berskins. Okay, gentlemen, this is a glory fight. Three rounds to three minutes. You both know the rules. Make it a good and clean fight. Shake hands if you like. Who do you have as the favorite in this fight? I think it's tough based on experience versus the youth, but... Uh, I'm maybe going slight edge to, to Cookie based on his, you know, Watch style, ready. his power. Fight. But like I said, never count out Jafar. He's going to be in your face the entire time. The winner of this moves on to the final later tonight. Jafar Willis in the white gloves, Cookie Asaro in the black gloves. And by the way, Joe, he got his nickname because he looked like a character on a Nickelodeon show growing up. I guess we're too old to know that show. <laughs> you have kids. You should have known. You're right. Typically, Jafar absorbs a lot of punishment early and then lays it on in the second and third round. Yeah, Jafar's got this high guard style where he's going to keep walking forward. And he's going to put the pressure on you. Then when he's on the inside, that's when he lets his combinations go. But you can see the experience of Cookie growing. He's not throwing everything with power. He's looking to set things up, using good movement. Nice mixing one, two. his kicks. Nice one-two from Cookie. Oh, big overhand right. Wilness promised us he would start faster than normal. The biggest mistake any fighter could make in a tournament is taking the first fight off, thinking it's an easy Greg. one. I don't believe either one of these guys thinks this fight is going to be easy. Number seven versus number eight in heavyweight rankings. Good exchange there for Asara. Yeah, I know a lot of fighters that will say, hey, maybe I don't want to kick much in that first round. I don't want to damage my shins. So a lot of fighters box heavy in the semifinals. Greg. But you can see Jafar's inside pressure style. Oh, big left uppercut from Asara. Yep, that's the shot against that high guard against Wilness. Yeah, Wilness can't eat too many of those. Yeah, that's the, the downside to that high guard defense. It's uppercuts and knees up the middle. Ooh, good left hook from Wilness. Asaro came right back, one for one. Wilness has had some stamina issues, Joe. Let's see if he can preserve some energy for the third round and possibly for the next fight. Just missing. Back. With a right hand under a minute to go here. Cookie's not doing a bad job by fighting backwards and then mixing in this type of pressure combinations. Look at these angles, too. Nice counter from Jafar, but he ate three to give one. There's Jafar starting to open up. The two big guys combining for well over 500 pounds. Uh, really? Cookie's six foot five, Wilna's six four. Yeah, both big boys, but what's impressive to me is the way Cookie's just touching and then he rips with power. That's very rare for heavyweights. Quick! Obviously, the best case scenario would be to knock your opponent out in the first round. Then you're fresh for the final. 
Nice knee from Asaro as Wilnis covers up. Yeah, Cookie Blake, makes some front Blake. kicks. Sneaky little uppercut on the inside. Time! Jafar Wilnis, a veteran. He's had 16 fights in glory, a career that spanned well over 10 years. Signature strikes. He likes those hooks. You saw a couple of them land there in round one. He made his debut way back in glory two, Joe. Yeah, it's, it's insane how many fights this man has. Just keeps going. Where Cookie's newer to glory. This is his fourth glory fight. Signature strike, the body shots. Here he was mixing good front kicks, looking for that uppercut. But like I keep mentioning, he doesn't throw everything with power. He looks to set things up, which is very impressive for a heavyweight. And kickboxing royalty here in the building. Look, it's Bader Hari Joe. Yeah, the best. Always nice having. Oh, my favorite there beside him too, Ernesto Hoost. Two legends side by side. I might have to leave this table and sit with them for a bit. <laughs> yeah, you're the only Hall of Famer out of those three, right? Yeah, they should come sit with me. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here, Todd. Let me bring these boys in. So here we go. Break. Round two scheduled for three. The Step first back. of our two semifinals. We'll soon see the scores of that first round. It appeared that Asaro did most of the damage, and he wins on all five judges' scores. Seems like a little more urgency from Wilness now coming out, a little bit more aggressive. He's going to start putting his combinations together. He can't just keep walking forward without throwing. Big swing and a miss there from Wilness. Right, and Cookie's really trying to get that lead uppercut. The danger about the lead uppercut is you're open to an overhand right. Nice knee there from Asara, but Wildis is known for being able to take so much damage. Yeah, that's one of his best things is durability. He can sit there, take shots off the guard, and just keep coming back. Yeah, in the third round, Wildis is going to be a force. If he can make it there, there's a right hand that lands for him. Cookie scored two. Yeah, look how he turned out of that corner. Turn out of there. He goes. Look at Cookie firing all he's got. Wilnis back against the ropes. The ropes keeping him up. How is the referee not giving him a standing eight here? The ropes are keeping him up. I think Jafar's out, to be honest. Big knee. Oh, oh, he's out. Great, 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 and great, that great, is great, it. Great, great, great. Patient, patient. Then all of a sudden, that explosion, the combinations, putting it together. Cookie gets a great finish against the experienced Wilness. Joe, what did you think about the referee letting that continue and not calling a knockdown? Because to me, it seemed the ropes were holding Wilness up. Well, an experienced fighter like that, you know how tough and durable it is. So, I mean, gave him the benefit out of the doubt, but he took a lot of big punches against the ropes. I'm surprised he didn't fall through it. You know, and Asaro, Joe, has to be careful about controlling his emotions here. He's got another fight coming up. Yep, there's a lot of excitement to, to knock out someone like Jafar Wilness is amazing for your, your resume, but stay calm, stay relaxed. There's still a job to be done. We'll make it official and hear from Tariq Asaro when we return to Rotterdam. We welcome you back here to the Netherlands. And Joe, what a fight. Yeah, and you see Osaro really being patient, using his jab, setting up his big power shots, but when he goes, he goes. He commits to these big combinations. He found fantastic little sneaky lead uppercuts throughout that fight versus Wilness's high guard. But this is where he just started going off. He knew Wilness was hurt. This is where the fight probably should have been stopped there. But he kept going, went for the big finish. But look how tough Wilness is staying up. You can see his eyes are rolled. He doesn't know where he is. And Cookie solidifies himself in the finals. Well, that's the way you put a stamp on proceedings. Here are the final strike counts. 125 strikes landed by Asaro, just 26 for Wilness, who, as I mentioned, usually comes on strong in the last round, but he didn't get that chance here tonight. The head was the target for Asaro, and he scored 82% of his 108 shots aimed for the head. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this tournament semifinal, 
ends at a time of 1 minute 26 second of that second round by knockout for your winner. Now advancing to the finals in tonight's main event, Tariq Osaro. I'm here with your winner for the semifinals, Cookie. Man, you came, you said you want to throw some bombs and you just did that. Like I always say, I've left, I've right. If they keep standing, we have a nice fight. And if not, they go down. And I think everybody here witnessed it. I throw bombs, man. Well, the job's not done. You still got the finals coming up. What happens now when you go backstage? Just gonna get myself together and uh, come back, throw the same bombs, and take away the win. I go home and enjoy. All right, let's hear it for your winner, who we'll see very soon again, Tariq Cookie Osaru. And he's one win away from fighting that man, the number one contender in the heavyweight division, Antonio Plaza. But he loves that style. Look at the smile on his face. He's like, please give me Cookie Joe.